Hey guys, welcome to Robot Absor. Today I'll look at popular robot vacuum cleaner DreamyBot L10 Pro, which went up for sale at the start of 2021. Its main benefit is the system of sensors on the bumper for identifying objects on the floor. This new tech got the name High Precision 3D. And just like LiDAR, it can accurately navigate itself around the house. And practically doesn't touch anything. It also has a mop, an extremely good battery and suction power that goes up for 4000 Pascal. This amazing robot goes for around $500. But you can find it on sale for $480. The store link is in the description, in case you want to check it out. Later I'll give a full description and a test of the robot. After which I'll tell you if this is the right robot for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with our latest content. Now let's get started. Our vacuum came in this box. Aside from the robot we found. A charging base, a power cord, a detailed manual and a water container with a microfiber cloth attached. There is no extra parts in the box. Which is one of the reasons why the price is so low. So right after you buy it, I recommend getting an extra HEPA filter and another microfiber cloth. Now let's get an outside look of this thing. Dreamy Bottle 10 Pro came in black. The plastic is very good, as is the assembly. The robot's height is pretty standard, reaching 97 mm. On the front we can see a 3D sensor on the mechanical bumper. And a couple laser sensors on different sides of the camera. This system not only helps with identifying objects on the floor, but also helps the robot build a 3D map. Or at least that's what the manufacturer says. The LiDAR is displayed as a button, which helps the robot not get stuck on the furniture. On the top you will find three buttons. Return to base, start pause and precise cleaning mode. On the back are the fans that cool the robot's motor. The dust collector is right under the top lid. It's pretty big, around 570 ml. Right next to it is a brush for cleaning the container and the main brush from hairs and furs. The filter system is a mesh and HEPA filters. Now let's look at Dreamy Bot L10 Pro from below. Here we can see that there are 6 antifold sensors along the perimeter. That's good. There is a only one side brush, 3 sided and it's easy to take off. The main brush is bristly and it's also easy to take off from both sides. That's also very good. Closer to the back we can see openings for attaching the mopping container. Inside it is the electronic water regulator. The container fits about 270 ml of water, as said by the manufacturer. Just to be sure we checked and it did in fact fit 270 ml of water. On the sides you can see latches. The cloth can be attached thanks to velcro and a slider, which is a pretty standard concept in Xiaomi vacuums. And the cloth is fluffy and soft on the whole area. So there aren't any belt spots. All in all, DreamyBot L10 Pro is assembled pretty well. And it's definitely thawed out. No complaints. DreamyBot L10 Pro's main characteristics are up on the screen. I recommend pausing to read all of the info. These characteristics impressed me. Especially the suction power, which we will definitely have to test. Let's move on. Let's look at DreamyBot L10 Pro's functions, which are shown in the Mi Home app. I easily connected the robot to the app, so it shouldn't cause any problems. Here I show you the functions after the map is completely drawn. As you can see, the robot has drawn a perfect map of the house. Saved it to its memory and zoned it to the separate rooms. On the home screen are three modes. The first individual room mode. Here you can pick as the name implies. Individual room that your robot has to clean. And the amount of times you want the robot to go through. 1 or 2. In auto mode, DreamyBot L10 Pro cleans everything possible. And in zone mode, you can pick out individual zones with a rectangle that the robot has to clean. And once you can pick out the amount of times you want it to go through. Once or twice. In map editing, we can see that the robot supports saving multiple maps. Which is great. You can also separate or combine rooms together, name each room and set up no-go zones and virtual walls for vacuuming or mopping. In the settings you can turn the camera that identifies objects on and off. Set your volume and the language you want your robot to speak in. You can also turn notifications on and off, turn on automatic power increase for carpets, 
tell the robot to continue working after charging and set up do not disturb at given time. In the functions you can start the mopping cycle to wash or change your cloth. DreamyBot L10 Pro can regulate your suction power and your cloth wetness. You can also set up a cleaning schedule, where you can choose specific rooms, time and dates, as well as the suction power and cloth wetness. Sadly, you can't install a schedule for individual rooms, which is possible in the other robots. I would also like to show the cleaning lock, the water lever, remote controlling, find my robot and changing its name. You can also share your controls with others, like your friends and family, and update the app when possible. These are all of DreamyBot L10 Pro's main functions. Now we will test how well DreamyBot L10 Pro will do in our tests. First of all, let's check our robot navigation under harsh circumstances. First the vacuum goes along the perimeter, after which it goes through the area in a snake-like pattern and returns to the base. It didn't get stuck on the drying rack, individually cleaned around all four of chair legs and around the box, after which it came back to the base. On a 32 square foot rooms it only needs 10 minutes. The navigation in this robot is absolutely spectacular. The robot definitely passed. When and for the rest of the house, the robot zoned the house into rooms and built a map after first going around it. So, every time you launch the robot, it cleans the rooms one after another. First along the perimeter, then in a snake-like pattern. On 100 square feet, the robot spent 27 minutes. Now that DreamyBot L10 Pro isn't good with tall or average carpets. The 3D sensor recognizes the carpets as an obstacle, so it partly goes around it, but still later comes back to it. Well, on hard surfaces we see that the pattern is there, and that the robot cleans the full available area. But the rooms with carpets cause the robot to lose its pattern, leaving some spots uncleaned. You can see for yourself on the map it built. If you turn off the function responsible for identifying objects, the robot can work as intended, but then loses its uniqueness. That puts it next to the big leaks. So the navigation system isn't the best and so it failed the test. We'll also check how the 3D sensor works and how well it recognizes objects on the floor. For this we will use a plush toy, shoe, sock, charger and a fake pet feces. These are the main things that might get in the way of the robot and harm it. The only thing that DreamyBot L10 Pro couldn't get through were the feces. It couldn't recognize the object, so it just went around it. The robot pointed out some of these objects on the map. Not right that this model can photograph objects, like Roborock S6 Max V can. In conclusion, that 3D sensor did its job, but not perfectly yet. In any case, the navigation for this vacuum is much better than other LiDAR vacuums. Not including the carpets, that is. DreamyBot L10 Pro doesn't touch objects or walls. So if you have fragile objects on the floor, this robot is one for you. Now let's see how DreamyBot L10 Pro will suck dirt out from different sized cracks. Let me remind you that the manufacturer states that it has a Pascal of 4000. And this is the highest one among the Xiaomi brand. And wow, the robot has in fact shown great result. It sucked dirt from cracks as deep as 4 mm. I didn't test it on 6 and 8 mm. But the robot completely sucked dirt out from 10 mm crack. DreamyBot L10 Pro can definitely say that it has a lot of power when it comes to sucking out dirt. And it will surely go on our top robots by suction power. Test definitely passed. The vacuuming on hard floors also impressed me. The robot could clean the whole room, including the hair and fur. Only the corners remains uncleaned. But this is common in all round vacuums. At least most of the dirt that was collected in the dust container, including the hairs. They thankfully didn't get caught on the brush, which is great. DreamyBot L10 Pro really proved itself vacuuming the carpets. The quality is great. And just look at how it collected the air of the carpet. In my opinion, this is the one of the best carpet cleaning I have ever seen. And here is the robot increasing power on the carpet. The mopping is also good. DreamyBot L10 Pro scrubbed off the dry dirt and didn't leave marks. There is a small line along the baseboard. 
that never got cleaned. But this is very common among the robots that we review on our channel. The mob doesn't draw on the floor even on max, so it probably won't damage your wooden floors. The mopping is pretty good and works great for a detailed mob. This model can go over obstacles easy. It effortlessly go over 2 cm obstacles, which is cool. Dreamybot L10 Pro is afraid of dark spaces and recognizes them as cliffs. That isn't good and is my first real problem. You will have to tape the sensors on the bottom, so it will go over the dark spaces. But obviously do this only if you don't have any real cliffs. Or the robot might break. Lastly, let's test the robot's noise level in different modes. On the first mode it goes to about 59 dB. On the medium it reached 62 dB. In pressure cleaning mode it goes to 65 dB. And in turbo it goes all the way to 73 dB. The amount of noise is explained by the power that the robot has. So it's better to have it on when you live. Dreamybot L10 Pro was thoroughly detailed and tested. Our algorithm gave it a 76 out of 100, which is about the same as Roborock S6 Max MaxV, which are just a bit higher. But know that the price difference is huge. If you are buying a robot for only $500, and sometimes less. I link the algorithm and past tests in the description below. So go ahead and check that out after the video. So what can I say? Dreamybot L10 Pro is a great robot. So here are some of these great benefits. The navigation is great. And so is the 3D sensor. Amazing suction power. Good vacuuming and mopping. Has a good build. Talking about the materials and spare parts. A well thought out design. All of the advanced functions are in the app. Good with obstacles. The mopping is above average. A huge battery, thanks to which the robot can clean on the larger scale. And generally a good robot in terms of the price, functions and quality. The robot's weak points that I found are. The high precision 3D needs to be updated. Not only does it need to be more sensitive to small objects, which could be animal faces. But it also needs to deal better with larger objects, like carpets, which cause the navigation to work worse. It's afraid of dark spaces. No spares. I think the first two problems will be solved soon. And in general for its price, this robot is amazing. And is one of the best of this time. It has great battery, good navigation, good mopping, and all of the advanced functions in the app. An auto-cleaning base like for the Z10 Pro would be cool. But the robot is really awesome without it anyways. On this note, I would like to end the review. If you still have questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with our latest content. Have fun shopping! Bye!